The Galaxy Note 20 and Galaxy Note 20 Ultra are official, and yet again it is the next big thing. After months of waiting and scouring the web for rumors, the official Samsung Galaxy Note 20 announcement is finally here. As expected, we get a Galaxy Note 20 Ultra for the no limits power sir, and a Galaxy Note 20 for the more practical person who still wants an S Pen and some of the best cameras Samsung has to offer. Let's not drag this along for too much, here's what the Galaxy Note 20 and Galaxy Note 20 Ultra are all about. Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra design. Stark, rectangular, yet elegant. The Note phones have always had more defined lines and corners as compared to the Galaxy S phones. It kind of goes with their notepad-like ideals and shows a more serious tone. Both the Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra have a contemporary premium style. The Ultra is your typical glass sandwich, but the back panel how has a soft matte finish. The Note 20 is dressed in polycarbonate, which mimics the look and soft touch of the matte glass. Both rock super thin bezels around their displays and impressive looking camera modules on their backs. Instead of the flashy Aurora colors of the 2019 Notes, Samsung went for more mature, subdued colors this time around. The Note 20 Ultra comes in black, white, or a new bronze color, which we believe will be the most popular one. The Note 20 comes with the same bronze, then a cool-looking green color, and a stealthy gray. Another notable difference between the two is both have a back panel that arches towards the edges for ergonomics, only the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has an edge display on the front. The Note 20 sports a more classic flat screen. Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra display. Of course, both phones have a mold panels, but the Note 20 Ultra does have its specs dialed to 11. So, in terms of resolution, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has a 1440x3200 WQHD Plus screen, while the Note 20 has a 1080x2400 Full HD Plus panel. That's 393 pixels per inch on the Note 20 and an insane 511 ppi density on the Note 20 Ultra. But while the resolution is not an issue it's plenty sharp on both phones, it's only the Note 20 Ultra that gets super high refresh rate. The Ultra's mold screen has a 120 hazard dynamic refresh rate, while the Galaxy Note 20 will be stuck on 60 hazard. The displays go almost edge to edge thanks to super thin bezels and only have a tiny punch hole at the top center for the selfie camera. A design aesthetic that we're all pretty much used to by now. Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra Specs. The Galaxy Note has always been the spec king. The Note 20 Ultra is of course the most powerful Note to come, with a 3.0 GHz Docta Core processor, built on a 7 nanometer process, a choice of 8 GB or 12 GB of RAM and storage options, from 128 GB to 512 GB, with a micro South Dakota slot for expansion. The Galaxy Note 20 has a 2.7 GHz octa core, 7 nanometer chip, 8 GB of RAM, and 128 or 256 GB of storage. Both the Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra will support 5G connectivity, but depending on market and location, you may get access to 4G only models. The 4G Note 20 Ultra will only have 8 GB of RAM, but three different storage options, the 4G Note 20 only comes in one flavor 8GB RAM and 256GB storage. Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra Camera The camera modules of the Note 20 phones definitely look like they mean business. The Note 20 Ultra, of course, pushes things to the limit. It has a 108-megapixel main camera, a 12-megapixel ultra-wide camera, and a 12-megapixel telephoto camera. Thanks to its elaborate optics, it can achieve 5 times pure optical zoom. With software enhancements, we get 50 times super res zoom for extreme enhancement. The Galaxy Note 20 is a bit more modest, it has a 12 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 64 megapixel telephoto camera. There's no pure optical zoom here, but a 3 times hybrid zoom, and a 30 times super res software zoom. Both camera modules are backed up by optical image stabilization, which improves video recording stability and enhances low-light shots where you need slower shutter settings. The Galaxy Note 20 series takes things to cinematic levels with 8K video recording at 24 frames per second. You have a full pro mode that gives you access to every camera setting, even tweaking the directional audio recording by adjusting the gain on the three internal microphones. On the front, it seems we have the very same selfie cameras for both phones, a 10 megapixel snapper with dual pixel autofocus. Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra S Pen improved. The S Pen is the Note's signature feature a Wacom-powered stylus, nested right inside the phone. 
it has provided realistic writing and drawing experiences to Note fans for years, and it gets yet another improvement this year. Its gyroscope and acceleration sensors have been improved to reach reaction times of 8 millisecond and enhance sensitivity to different movements and tilts, making it feel a lot more natural. Galaxy Note 20 and Microsoft X Cloud. Samsung and Microsoft have been best buddies for a year or so, as the Galaxy products get deeper integration with Microsoft apps and services. Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra users will get his box game pass and will be among the first who are able to play on Microsoft's game streaming service, xCloud, when it launches this September. DeX wirelessly enhanced the Samsung DeX is a pretty cool niche feature that we are happy to see keep evolving. It turns your phone in a mini PC, completely changing the interface into a desktop-like environment. You only need to connect it to an external monitor and keyboard. In the past, you needed a DeX dock for this. Then, a DeX cable. Well, in 2020 it's wireless. You can connect your Galaxy Note 20 or Note 20 Ultra to any smart TV, and you will get that desktop interface in a pinch. Samsung Galaxy Note 20, Note 20 Ultra price and release date The Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra will release on the 21st of August. You can pre-order them right now The Galaxy Note 20 starts at $999, The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is $1,299 and up. So guys what do you think about this powerful devices? Let me know your thoughts in comment and also please do consider subscribing my channel. Thanks for watching.